Welcome to the demonstration video for Minimal Risk's SIM mobile app. This is the mobile and tablet version of the bespoke security incident management system known as SIM Online. This allows users, including security personnel, to log all types of incidents and reports. When used on a project or site, SIM Online and SIM Mobile provide a valuable workspace to share information and keep all users informed of incidents. It greatly assists management by allowing trends and patterns to be identified and assessed. It also helps provide users with quick access to information, such as past incidents, which can be extremely useful when responding to situations which may occur. To get started, you will need to download SIM Mobile from the Android or Apple App Store. Search Minimal Risk and download the app onto your device. This will then update automatically when software improvements are made. When opening SIM Mobile, you will be asked to log in. Enter your unique email address and password here. Click login and wait for the app to load. Your device will stay logged in for a specified time. The speed of access unless you log out. Please note, if you have been issued a new password, you should change this to something memorable to you the first time you are logged in. This can be done either via the app or via the web version SIM Online at www.mrcsimonline.co.uk. The same login details work for both SIM Mobile and SIM Online. You will need to select which client you want to use the app for here. Click continue and then select the site. Click continue again and you will arrive at the home page for this client. The client option will not appear if you are only allocated to one client. Your options on the main menu are clock in, incidents, reports, log out. There is a further side menu which is open by pressing the top right box and closed by pressing the cross in the same place. At the bottom of this menu, it shows the client you are currently logged in as. If you are allocated more than one client, you can switch between them here by pressing change client. SIM Mobile allows users to clock in and clock out, to record time and attendance instead of completing a timesheet. You will be told if this applies to you. Clicking clock in and then clicking the yellow button automatically clocks the user in at the current time. Clicking here again, doing a similar operation with the black clock out button at the end of your shift, automatically clocks the user out at the current time. You will need to allow SIM Mobile to access your location via GPS before using this part of the system. Click on Incidents when on the home page and then New Incident. You will be asked to fill out the incident form which includes details about the location and type of incident you are logging, when it occurred, how it was taken care of and who by. The fields to fill in are as follows. Project or location. Site. Type Category Priority There are three priority levels. Which individuals receive an email notification for incidents depends on which of these is selected. 
all users can view all incidents and reports regardless of the priority levels on both SIM Online and SIM Mobile. The levels outlined as follows. Routine report. This is something which has occurred and requires logging but does not need any information to be passed on to senior management or the client. An example of this sort of incident would be a minor vehicle fault. Minimal risk managers, security personnel and supervisors only will receive email notifications from any routine report incidents logged. Action required. This is an instance where security or others have had to intervene but it has not been deemed necessary to inform the client urgently. An example of this would be a routine alarm activation where all is resolved. Senior management and client can still view these reports when they log in but no email is sent to them, although this is dependent on preferences. Minimal risk managers, security personnel and supervisors will receive email notifications from any action required incidents logged. High priority. This is something serious where senior management and the client will need to be notified. Examples include confirmed trespassers on site, suspicious or hostile activity, medical incidents or any criminal actions. Clients and senior management will receive an email notification. Minimal risk managers, security personnel and supervisors will also receive the email notifications from any high priority incidents logged. Date and time occurred. This must be when the incident actually happened, not when it is being logged. Time patrol arrived, if applicable. Vehicle attending including the registration number, if applicable. Description. This must be kept factual, easy to read and not over dramatic. Do not use capital letters for typing the whole report, only when required for correct punctuation. If the incident is reported to you by another person, ensure you record their name and details. Action taken. This is a description of what was undertaken as a consequence for the incident. Management comment box. This is for senior personnel to complete when making follow-up comments or taking further action. Police informed if applicable. Other agency informed if applicable. You also have the opportunity to upload photos as evidence or to add details, which is recommended, at the bottom of the form. It is best to take these on the same device as you are using for the app and upload straight from your camera roll. When all is complete, press submit and your incident will be logged. Unsent incidents. If you are logging an incident and have no data signal or Wi-Fi connection, the incident will save on your device and remain in unsent incidents. Unsent incidents will upload to the database when you next have a data signal or Wi-Fi connection. On the incidents menu page, you also have the option to search incidents. When searching, you can fill out some or all of the search criteria form to narrow down your search of recent or historical incidents. Results are displayed as a list and you can click on an incident to view full details. When viewing a previously logged incident, you can press Create Linked Report if there is another incident which is linked 
or you wish to add further information to the previously logged incident. Reports. Reports are available to view on SIM Mobile. This shows a graphical summary of incidents recorded for the client you are logged into. Graphs are automatically created when a project or area is selected. A breakdown of incidents by category is then displayed as a bar graph to allow for oversight and management assessment. If See All is selected, all projects or areas are displayed and combined on one graph for the client you are logged into. More detailed, customizable and downloadable formats for reports are available via the web version, SIM Online. This can be accessed using your SIM mobile username and password at www.mrcsimonline.co.uk Thank you for watching the SIM mobile system demonstration. For a more extensive version of the software, please use SIM Online, for which there is a separate tutorial video available. Please feel free to call or email the Minimal Risk Office if you have any questions. Our telephone number is 01432 359 353 and our email address is inquiries at minimalrisk.co.uk.